Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So Apple M5 chip is here powering the latest MacBook Pro and iPad Pro and it's already making headlines across Apple's official newsroom, Mac rumors and BGR for matching the performance of the Mac Studios old M1 Ultra. But what about the iMac? M5 iMac I'm talking about by the way. There is a growing wave of leaks and reports from 9 to 5 Mac, geeky gadgets and cult of Mac that hand Apple is quietly preparing something special, an M5 powered iMac that could finally bring serious AI performance to the desktop all in one lineup. So let's break it all down, everything we know so far, from leaks and rumors to performance expectations and design, and see if this next gen iMac is worth waiting for. But before we continue with this video, if you would like to buy the current M4 iMac or any other tech product of your choice, and I've also shared my Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video, you can use that link to buy those products and that will be a really very great support for this channel. Apple's new M5 chip isn't just a speed upgrade, it's a full-blown AI engine. According to Apple's newsroom release, it comes with a neural accelerator in every core, a faster neural engine, and an upgraded GPU architecture that brings 45% battery ray tracing and 30% faster overall graphics than the M4. Mac rumors even noted a 20% boost in memory bandwidth as well, which makes multitasking in creative apps way smoother. So if Apple integrates this into the next iMac, we're not just talking about a desktop. We are talking about a personal AI workstation for home and professional use. Now here where things get interesting. There is no official announcement from Apple yet, but leaks from Geeky Gadgets and Apple Insider Point, an M5 iMac refresh lined up for either late 2025 or early 2026. The report suggests Apple is keeping the same sleek 24-inch design, but adding new colors, and more importantly, the M5 chip at its core. That means we could finally see iMacs capable of studio-grade performance with integrated AI accelerator, ideal for creators, video editors, and 3D designers. Meanwhile, Cult of Mac notes that Apple's M5 rollout is happening in waves, starting with portable devices this year, followed by desktops like the iMac and Mac Studio in 2026. So if you have been waiting for an iMac refresh, then it's definitely on the roadmap. Now let's take a look at what will the M5 iMac actually deliver. If the M5 inside laptops already rivals the M1 Ultra desktop chip, imagine what Apple could do with better cooling and higher clock speeds in an iMac. Expect faster creative workflows in Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, real-time AI rendering and object detection, enhanced city and apple intelligence integration and possibly even support for larger displays or mini oled panels uh, not oled panels led panels while design change while design changes are said to be minor apple may introduce a new pro style finish hinting that this iMac could bridge the gap between the everyday desktop and the Mac Studio. So here is the big question again, should you buy the current iMac or wait for the M5 iMac? If you are a casual user or a student, the current iMac is still excellent. But if you are into heavy editing, music production, or AI-driven workloads, waiting for the M5 iMac might be the smartest move. Analysts from Notebook Check suggest that once Apple releases the M5 Max and Ultra versions, the iMac will finally come a true creative powerhouse, not just a family computer. So yes, patience could pay off big this time. So what do you think? Will Apple's M5 iMac finally bring the AI revolution to the desktop? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into Apple's next-gen tech. And if you would like to buy the current M4 iMac or any other tech product of your choice, then I've also shared my Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video. You can use that link to buy those products. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.